Genesis, the third chapter, 22nd verse. The Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil, and now lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. The Lord is getting rid of the man and his wife or Adam and his wife because he said they're going to take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Did the Lord forbid Adam and the woman to eat from the tree of life? Let's take a look at the before I go any further, I'm going to give you the answer, okay? If you want to find the answer on your own, you want to stop right here. But if you want to know the answer, here it is. In Genesis, the second chapter, it says, But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, you're going to die. The Lord did not mention, the Lord God did not mention the tree of life, only the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now, I'm going to go over to Genesis, the third chapter, and we can see where the serpent is saying, has God told you that you should not eat of every tree of the garden? Everybody says that the serpent is deceiving the woman, but what did he, what did he say? And then the serpent said, God has said, you shall, wait a minute. The serpent said, you're not going to die. What was the serpent referring to? What tree was the serpent referring to? The Lord said, I want to go back here. The Lord said, but you can, of every tree of the garden, you can free, you may as freely eat. He said, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat of it. For in that day you eat thereof, you will surely die. Now let's be very clear. There was a tree of life in the garden. Were Adam and his wife told or forbidden to eat from the tree of life? Please feel free to post your answer in the comments. This is Nisi, the administrator. Some people know me as Diane. Peace and strength to everybody, and thank you for listening.